Ukraine remains very much at the top of the news agenda today, as, of course, Jake Sullivan, the National Security Advisor, will be meeting with his Chinese counterpart in Rome to discuss those reports that perhaps China might be aiding Russia with some armaments. At the same time, we've just had a report from Bloomberg and others that the White House is at least considering President Biden making a trip over to Europe in the near future. To wrap all this together for us, we're turning now to our Washington correspondent. He's Joe Matthew at the White House. He, of course, is host of Sound On every day of the week on Bloomberg Radio. Joe, thanks so much. A lot going on there in the White House behind you. There sure is, uh, David, and we're just getting initial details on this idea of a trip to Europe, a presidential visit in the middle of a war. It would be something, but the idea here would be to reassure our NATO allies, particularly on the eastern front there, countries like Poland that have been in the throes of this conflict and are dealing with a humanitarian crisis following the, the shelling over the weekend of an installation that was only about 15 miles away from the Polish border. This entire idea of a visit might take on some new meeting here. But to your point, David, there's a lot to cover. And we have a bit of a split screen story today with talks happening on multiple levels, even as the shelling continues and Russia advances militarily into Ukraine. We saw some horrifying images over the weekend, uh, David, and, and they continue to stream out of cities like Kyiv. Now, we can tell you, to your point, that talks are happening not only with Jake Sullivan and China, but with Ukraine and Russia itself. A fourth day of talks in what President Zelensky's office describes as continuous talks, and they did take a bit of a break here, to calibrate exactly where they are. This all happening as our national security advisor, Jake Sullivan, meets with the top diplomat from China. They're meeting in Rome today in a meeting that takes on heightened urgency after Russia denied reports that you've been hearing about here on Bloomberg that Russia, in fact, asked Beijing for help, military help in this operation. Moscow says that never happened. I'll add one more for you here, David. After $14 billion in Ukraine aid was passed on Capitol Hill last week, we've learned this morning that President Zelensky will be addressing Congress virtually Wednesday morning, not just to say thank you, but it's also expected that he will request help again with a no-fly zone and getting hands on those military fighter jets that we've been talking about for days, David. They still are parked in Poland. 